Welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your midweek love message for week commencing Wednesday the 6th of July through to Sunday the 10th of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me? Thank you. First, oh wow, co-create uh, with uh, spirits, uh, Scorpios, with crow spirit. My angels and spirit guides, oh, the, thank you. Set healthy boundaries. I feel that that is around yourself. That's what I'm picking up. Oh, and then we've got ant spirit and bee spirit. Okay, well, the good thing is with bee spirit, um, there are sweet results with regards to whoever you're connecting with, waiting to come into fruition. What I am channeling for you, um, Scorpios, is that many of you, you could be in a situation with somebody that either it's a reconciliation or a connection that didn't take flight, um, or it's somebody that you're pursuing, but it may be that you are apprehensive to take that leap of faith because you may feel that the connection might not grow. It's almost like, how can I put it? It's almost like um, like there's a drought or like, like you don't think that this connection is going to grow. Now, it could be because you have been in a relationship with this person already. You might want to get back to the, together with this person um, or it's a, like I say, a connection, it could be a new connection. There's something that's holding you back and you're being guided to know even in the driest of places, even in the most unexpected places where you think something won't grow, you will be surprised. You are a survivor and you will thrive um, in the relationship and I feel within life, have courage and co-create with Divine Spirit Universe. I feel very, very, very much that um, Divine Spirit Universe has your back at this time to move forward, to move forward and trust. Be in the present, be in the here and now. Don't worry about, you know, what, you know, what if take that leap of faith and set some healthy boundaries around your thought processes. So many of you may be apprehensive to pursue somebody, to reconcile with somebody, to take things to the next level with somebody that you, I feel that you do want that. And it may be very, very burdensome for you because either you feel that you haven't got enough to come to the connection or you feel that you lack in some shape, form or another, the two of you could be very much like, you may see you, each other as chalk and cheese. Like you just wouldn't, you just can't see how the connection is going to grow. You don't see much that you might have in common. Maybe you're from different backgrounds, different cultures or different countries you're being guided to set some boundaries around that thinking and move forward some of you you're being guided to collaborate with this person because at the moment you might be going in different directions i feel that you're being guided that you have all the pieces of the puzzle to put this connection together take that leap of faith because there are sweet results there are sweet results waiting for you. So lighten your load and set healthy boundaries around what you're thinking about this connection because what you're telling yourself, I feel, isn't quite true. That's what I'm getting. I feel that many of you, whoever you are connected with, either they know this, that they might be a spiritual person or somebody that is quite connected with you spiritually, deeply, okay? And they may be picking up that energy that you are apprehensive to move forward with that connection. And I feel that that saddens them. I feel that they're walking in faith, that you will um, 
to have the strength and the courage to come forward to reconcile to move things to the next level or if it's somebody completely new show your interest yeah because what you think cannot grow you're being guided it's a lot sweeter than you realize let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question how does these soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing Wednesday the 6th of July through to Sunday the 10th of July. Thank you. Yeah, look. <gasps> look, the first card that come. well, the first card that I see, trust. You're being guided to trust that Divine Spirit Universe has your back. Co-create, you know, um manifest meditate pray whatever it is that connects you with your higher self divine spirit universe do that scorpio and then trust that the next move you make is going to be the right move yeah look at that oh look the web weaver okay synchronicity divine intelligence cause and effect and the well-wisher, wisdom, power of the divine. So with these two cards coming, and even with the chess queen, you've wished for this person. Many of you, you've wished to uh, weave a future with this person. So many of you, you may have been co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe already, but you are doubting yourself. Put some boundaries around that. I feel that you're being guided that it's time for you to synchronize with this person that's that collaborate and to recognize the cause and effect because i feel that this person is walking in faith that you will come forward and move things to the next level pursue them reconcile with them it's going to be different for all of you and the cause of effect, the cause and effect in this, what I am picking up is that divine spirit universe is clearly saying you not making the move because you think that something isn't going to grow is putting you in opposite directions. And the cause and effect is that this person's actually really sad. With the well-wisher, you're being guided and also with the web weaver, divine intelligence and the power of the divine. Again, the crow spirit, divine spirit universe is wanting to bless you with a wish that you made. And so now it's come into fruition. It's coming into our reality. You're being guided to use your wisdom to collaborate, to move forward. Trust what you wished for. Trust what you were co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe and continue co-creating because Divine Spirit Universe, your higher self, has your back. It's time to you for you to make a move. The move is yours. You, many of you, in a nutshell, you wished, you prayed, you manifested, you set intentions for this connection and you've got it right in front of you. And now you're getting kind of cold feet. The move is yours. And I feel that many of you with B spirit, there is a beautiful, sweet result that's waiting if you make that move. It's almost as if there's plenty of honey in this connection. It's almost like overflowing with honey. One of my other cards, you see the honey and the rainbow. Um, it's like you're overflowing with You've, you've got the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, basically, and the honey is overflowing. And many of you, you're being guided to put boundaries around thinking that you can't make the move or it's not going to grow or the two of you are too different. Put boundaries around that, beautiful Scorpios. All right. 
If this message is uh, resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Scorpios. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading. Okay, let's get into your main love message, Scorpio. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards me? Do you know what? I wanted to say I saw something at the corner of my eye, almost like a, a, a light shining through. And it's quite dull here today. Um, so that's what I said, me, because I'm seeing that they're asking me to pay attention. Maybe Divine Spirit Universe is trying to shine a light on this connection. I don't know. Maybe they're using me to get that message to you. I don't know. All right, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Wednesday the 6th of July through to Sunday the 10th of July 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Scorpio that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right. Okay. My angels and spirit, thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah. I feel this is uh, your person thinking about you to take action, to collaborate with them. Can't even make this up. So this person is thinking that that's the king of wands is your energy, Scorpios. I feel that this person is wanting you to take action towards them. All right. Thank you. The Seven of Pentacles, I can't make this up, my God. They're waiting for you to um, come towards them. Many of you, whoever it is you're connecting with, whether or not it's a reconciliation with somebody, somebody that you encountered and you were getting to know each other and it didn't quite take off, or somebody that is relatively new in your life, a lot of work has been put into this connection. Whether or not uh, getting to know this person, whether or not you've been having those kind of um, tete-a-tetes, like you may see this person around, maybe at work, around your community, around where you live, okay? And the candles just, can you see, I don't know if you can see this, that the, it's just gone out and the smoke is coming up and that's smoking really a lot. I really, really do feel as I'm doing this reading, I'm getting a lot of signs for you guys to pay attention to this reading. It's almost as if the cycle's got to end now and um, move forward. Let me just um, uh, get a new candle for you, Scorpios, two seconds. Okay, so Scorpios, we've got a fresh candle for you. It's almost like a new beginning. <laughs> a new beginning um lighting i feel like i i feel like i'm lighting a candle to light the way for you to come forward with whoever you're connecting with um as i was saying there's been a lot of work in this connection this person may feel that they and you have planted the seeds, getting to know each other. Um, if this is a reconciliation, maybe each one of you have respectively done the work on self, okay? But a lot of work has been put into this connection. And as you can see, this person is waiting. They're waiting for you to take action. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Oh, look, it's very simple. Look, I've just lit a candle for you. And there is, um, yeah, there's light shining here. 
Wow. Feel quite moved, Scorpios. Thank you for your energy. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. The Seven of Cups. So with the Seven of Cups, there is a choice to be made. Both of you have a choice to make, to move forward and receive the abundance that I feel Divine Spirit Universe wants to bless you both with. It also is representing there could be misunderstandings, miscommunication, certainly on your part, um, uh, Scorpios, because I what I was channeling for you is that you may think that this connection can't grow. You know, it's it's run its course or the two of you are too different. Whoever you're connecting with, the misunderstanding and miscommunication is that they think that you may not be interested. That you don't want to progress things. And that's why I was picking up that this person's real sad. But they still have faith in this connection. And there you go. There's the page of wands. Many of you, um, either you will rush in uh, or you want to take action. It's a one, so one to action. It's almost like you want to rush in and take action. But notice in this particular deck, this is why I love using different cards. You're still like you're almost kind of leaning back thinking, hold on a minute. Let's just park the brakes. Do I really want to do this? You're stopping yourselves and you're being guided. Remember, this is the web that you weaved. Is this what you want to weave for the future? You're being guided to collaborate, get in sync with this person and the justice card. So deep down, you do want to reckon. This is a reconciliation. So for those of you that um, are... Um, that knew, knew this person or you were in some sort of relationship or the relationship didn't take off you want to reconcile yeah because you wished for this person yeah notice the owl here you're being guided to use wisdom that's not a coincidence coincidence that the justice card has come under the well-wisher the power of divine of what you wished for is right here, right now. You are stopping it. Trust the power of divine and make a move. With the justice card, um, I would say, um, depending on what the clarifiers card, you may have a soul contract with this person. But you definitely could be dealing with the Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. Let's clarify. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. It's almost as if divine spirit universe is saying, come on, Scorpio, let's balance this out. Time to collaborate. Put the pieces together. And put that armor around you um, of um, thinking that this connection won't work. With the king of cups in reverse, um, many of you, this is your energy, Scorpios, male or female, you love this person, you love them very deeply, but you're not telling them, it's come out in reverse, this person knows that you are suppressing how you feel, and it's almost like they are waiting for you to come forward, to take action, and let them know that you love them, that you want to be with them, that you want to collaborate, that you want to build a future, they know that you're suppressing how you feel and that saddens them. My angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. And then um, temperance in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius in your, in your chart. Now, temperance is all about patience, okay? I feel that this person is feeling a little bit um, I would say that they're feeling a little bit like, yeah, a little bit imbalanced, like they don't know 
or they want you to they may feel that you're imbalanced because they're thinking about you quite strongly and these two cards are representing and clarifying you so either they're feeling really unbalanced um that you're not coming forward to express how you feel because you're suppressing it or they're seeing that you are feeling unbalanced to express how you feel so you may you may this person may realize um whoever they are they're very intuitive okay i w it wouldn't surprise me if the two of you are like psychically connected or something because this is they're just literally echoing um what i was saying as what i was channeling they may feel that you are feeling a little bit nervous about coming forward to speak how you feel and if this is a reconciliation due to a breakup all right or a connection that didn't take flight they may know that if the two of you had separated pulled your energies apart um went quiet on each other for a while they may know that that's concerning you let's continue this person knows you you know uh scorpios they probably know you um they know you quite um spiritually they know you and the tower yeah so this is letting me know that there was some sort of tower moment between the two of you for so i would say for the majority of you you were in a relationship with this person and there was a breakdown somebody walked away all right um and I feel that um, with the tower coming in reverse, this is this person either feeling that you are avoiding another tower moment with them, another breakup, or you're avoiding um, the two of you separating again or not being on the same page. This is also letting me know that this person is quite fearful that you won't come forward. because of the tower moment that you had with them and the ace of wands this person now notice the hand is coming from your direction everything is showing that this person wants you to take action towards them they want you to reach out and offer that olive branch they want you to reach out and come towards them i feel that they're fearful and um may feel that you're fearful to come forward and that makes them sad they want a new beginning the ace of wands is a, a, a new beginning and i feel one two sort they may be at a crossroads it almost feels as if did you break up with this person is that why they are at a crossroads that it's almost like it needs to be you that initiates it if there was a breakup here it was left very confusing for both of you but I feel that now you both have a choice to correct this course of action. And I feel that they're at a crossroads. They don't know what action to take. So they're trying to wait. Wait to see what you will do. And it's almost like this person is wishing, hoping, praying that you've got the strength to come towards them. Thank you. And look at that. With the Seven of Swords, they're keeping secret. That A, they're thinking about you very heavily and B, um, uh, they're keeping secret that they're choosing to wait for you to come towards them. Let's continue. And so therefore, this person might be a little bit silent towards you or very minimal communication. Yeah, look at that on your side. This person has got you down to a T. The two of coins, many of you are feeling really imbalanced. That is the temperance. So look at that. You've got the two of coins. You feeling really unbalanced, nervous, anxious. Do I, don't I? And this temperance in reverse is imbalanced. They know that you're feeling anxious, nervous. Do I, don't I? You want to rush in because you want to reconcile with this person. But you're stopping yourself. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. Look at that. Oh, my God. This is why this person can read you like a book, because they're your twin flame. With the lover's card. 
Crikey. Wow. I would say that this person is also very, very spiritual or they deal in the spiritual arts in some way, but they're very, very connected to divine. They know that you are their twin flame and you may have gone through an awakening and that's possibly what's triggered the tower at one point in this connection because you may not have realized the significance of this person as being your twin flame. I feel that they knew that all along because of the spiritual connection that I'm seeing that they have with you. It could be vice versa, but it feels as if you, uh, you know, you know that this is your twin flame or you've awoken to it. And then we've got the uh, six of coins again, Libra showing up, Gemini showing up. The six of coins is all about balance. OK, um, it's all about balance. And I feel that many of you, either it is you didn't give to this connection. You may have denied this connection, is which is what triggered the tower moment between the two of you. And that's why you're really hesitant that this connection will grow. Yeah, that it's it's already it's almost like that saying, like once you break up, it's very difficult to come back because the problem might still be there. It's like you don't think this can grow. You don't think this can go anywhere. But I feel that you're being guided that even divine spirit universe can grow things in the desert. Just remember that. Yeah, the desert is the desert is dry. It gets minimal water. But, you know, divine spirit universe can still make things grow in the desert. So no matter how dry you feel this connection is, if you feel that this connection is like a desert, there's nothing that can grow. You are underestimating the power of the divine. So with the six of coins in reverse, many of you could be judging the situation. Because you don't think that anything is going to grow by you moving forward with this person. Many of you, you may not have put equally into this connection or you felt they didn't put equally into this connection. Again, another attribute as to why there was a breakup, a tower moment. I feel that many of you with the Knight of Swords, I feel that you've got some stuff that you want to get off your chest. Many of you, I feel that you want to rush in and speak your truth. Two swords here, but you don't know how to initiate those conversations. So if you felt that this person <coughs> didn't give to this connection in the same way you did, and the only way that you will even entertain kind of taking action towards this person is that you kind of want to know, look, are you are they on the same page this is the collaboration. It's like the two of you need to have a good old heart to heart and put the pieces of this connection back together and speak your truths and clear up any misunderstanding and miscommunication. Because it's almost like uh, Scorpios, it's almost like the two of you are second guessing what the other one's going to do. OK, and it's because of this deep connection that you have with this person. But I feel that you're being guided. Divine Spirit Universe has got your back on this. It is your move. Okay, trust. Strategize. Think about what you're going to say. Maybe what you need to do is to approach them and wait and hear what they've got to say, which will give you an indication of what you want to say to get things off of your chest. Look at that. Again, look, two mugs, which represent my twin flames. This person is your wish fulfillment. And it's because you've lived many lives with this person. The two of you definitely have got a soul contract with each other. You also could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Let's have a look and see what your advice is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Release, yeah, look at that, I can't even make it up. Release and lighten your load that you think that this connection isn't going to go anywhere because there are sweet, sweet results awaiting you. So release 
any kind of doubt that this connection hasn't got the potential to grow. It does. Put some boundaries um, around that thinking. Release it. Lighten your load. Because it's what it's almost like you're blocking. You're blocking moving forward. You're blocking what you were co-creating with Divine Spirit Universe. What you wished for. Because you are doubting that there isn't any room for it to grow. Because you guys may have been in a relationship or the connection didn't quite take off. And then it's like there was a period of separation. That is the pattern of a twin flame connection. You may both needed to have gone into separation to learn the lessons that you brought to each other whilst you were in a relationship or whilst you were getting to know each other in order for you to level up so that you can come back into union and you're being guided to adapt. Yeah, adapt your thinking. You will get yourself where you want to be by adapting your thinking and putting some boundaries around that, that this connection won't grow. Adapt your thinking because you will get there in the end. OK, that that what divine spirit universe has blessed you with. Um, nobody can take that away. But you can self-sabotage it, um, Scorpios. Yeah. I feel that you've got what you want already. And you just need to adapt and accept that you have what you want. You may be making up all the excuses of why you can't approach this person, why you can't reconcile. You've got a choice to make. Cannot even make it up. Move. The rolling stone gathers no moss. You're being guided to keep moving, adapt and move forward. Yeah. Keep moving forward so that you don't um, grow moss. You don't become stagnant, stale, hardened, um, you know, closed off to love. Because it almost feels as if if you miss this opportunity, it might be a long time before you are in that position, possibly with them or somebody else. To get the kind of sweet results that a relationship and love can bring to a, a couple. So you're being guided to move forward, keep moving forward so that it doesn't happen to you because it could be years there are some times you've got to strategize and you've got to make a move. Trust me, I've been there myself. When you see a prime opportunity and you're too scared or you doubt and then you don't and then the opportunity goes and it takes years, years to find that person that you connect with. And because it's your twin flame, I believe we only have one twin flame. It could take years before the two of you come into, into union again. This is why they're saying use your wisdom. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you, Scorpio. In a really weird way, it's actually a very beautiful message. It feels as if you're the one stopping yourself from experiencing it. So if it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.